17-year-old Matthew Richard Taylor disappeared on October 30th, 1999. He was last seen at a truck stop in Sycamus, BC. Matthew Ellen Richard Taylor was living in Canmore, Alberta at the time of his disappearance. It is believed that he and a friend were hitchhiking when they were picked up by a truck driver who promised them drugs to accompany him on a trip to Surrey, BC, where he was scheduled to unload a delivery. It is believed that they stopped in Sycamus due to the weather and spent the night at a truck stop just on the outskirts of town. According to a post by Leah Casey, Matt's sister, Matthew's friend said that when Matt left the truck in the middle of the night, the friend thought he was going out to use the water. Washroom. So he went back to sleep and didn't think anything of it. When the trucker wanted to leave in the morning, the friend went to look for Matt and couldn't locate him, so he thought Matt went back to Canmore. Leah also posted that the friend submitted to multiple polygraph tests and interviews and was cleared. Other people have suggested that the truck stop was situated close to the Sycamus River and that perhaps he slipped and fell while going to the washroom. Through the years, there has been many rumors of him going different places after leaving the truck stop, like Calgary, but it is highly unlikely he wouldn't have contacted his family by now. Matthew's case is deemed a suspected homicide. Matthew also has a missing Matthew Taylor, Canmore, Alberta, Facebook page. According to the family, they believe that the police did not conduct any search. Matthew Taylor was 17 years old at the time of his disappearance. He stood 6 feet 1 inches tall and weighed 180 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. He had a chipped front tooth that was darkened. He struggled with substance abuse and had ADHD. He was last seen wearing a hooded sweatshirt, t-shirt, and runners. If you have any information as to Matthew's whereabouts, please contact Sycamus RCMP at 250-836- 2878. Let's bring this case to a close and give the family some comfort in knowing what happened so they can possibly bring their brother, son, grandson home.